The character art and profile information always catches my eye when I'm watching D&D gameplay. I mean, back in the day my friends and I would sketch portraits of our characters, well, kind of little thumbnails on our character sheets, way back in the early 90s. Actually, we usually asked our friend Carrie to draw them because he was inevitably going to be the better artist than all of us. But there's something about having a visual representation of a character along with a few highlights about their abilities that helps us better understand the overall story of the game. Let's look into it. Welcome to Geek Philosophy, where we love geeky wisdom. If you're new to the channel, my name is Brian, and we release new videos weekly, so please consider subscribing and turning on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of the content. As always, I'm going to show you my way of handling this topic, which means it's not the only way to do it, or even the best way to do it, or the right way to do it, it's just the way that works for me. I'm going to be using Canva to complete this project, so stick around to the end of the video to see how you can get a 30-day free trial for Canva's Pro subscription. Quick note, you'll have to forgive my voice this week. It's a little not there, so doing my best. To display character profiles on your stream, you will likely want to include two major basic elements, a portrait and the character information. If you're artistic and you have the talent to draw or paint the characters yourself, this is an ideal way to express yourself and really customize the appearance of the characters in your game. If you aren't, you can reach out to other artists and commission portraits for use during your stream. There are some great artists who accept commissions and they can create custom art for you that bring your characters to life. For the purposes of this video, we will be using the stock images available through my Canva Pro subscription. Then we'll design the layout and the graphics to display the profile information in a way that best fits our live stream layout and pull everything together as a video for our live stream. So when you log into Canva, you'll see the main page with a lot of different suggested templates. But to determine the dimensions of the character profile video, I'll need to start with 1920 by 1080. I'll use the create a design button and enter those dimensions. But those aren't necessarily the dimensions that you'll be using for the final video. We're just going to be using this to mock up a layout first. Stick with me. You'll see. I'll rename this one character profiles template, but if you forget to do this, don't worry. Uh, Canva auto-saves it with a generic name if you don't enter one. Next, I'll need to insert a basic screen design, the layout that I want to use for my stream. You could import a screen grab from your current live stream, but I built my live stream template in Canva, so I can open it up and just copy one of the layouts in. Check out the how to create a live stream template with Canva tutorial to see how I built all these layouts. With this layout included, I can resize my placeholder box to fit the way I'd like. I'd like to stick with 1920 by 1080 or that ratio whenever possible because then I can repurpose the video for something else if I need to. To make sure I'm starting with 1920 by 1080, I'm going to press the control or command button and drag and resize it so it fits up the entire screen, which again was built in 1920 by 1080, and this will ensure that when I resize it again, the proportions are correct. And this looks good to me, but you could totally use a different aspect ratio if you like. You could go with square or a little bit narrow. Doesn't really matter. The process will be the same moving forward. Okay, since we're sticking with the same file dimensions, I can actually just continue to work with this file moving forward. I don't need this first page anymore, so I can delete it and get working directly with a blank page. You'll notice that Canva provides several templates. Most of these will either be presentation templates or video templates since they fit the aspect ratio that we're working with. So you could totally start with one of these as a basis for your design. For the basic background, you could add a solid color or a gradient or a geometric pattern, whatever you prefer. For my Relics of the Ancients campaign, I found that starting with a photo in the background really kind of helped me pull the design together. So I'm going to stick with that. Last time I used a parchment photo that was in the background to give my sort of medieval effect, but this time I'm going to go with a stone background. I'll search for a stone photo and then scroll through and find something that looks good for now, but I can replace it later if I change my mind. In the elements section, Canva has a great selection of frames, and these frames are perfect for importing our character profile images. Let's scroll through and pick a frame layout that fits what we're looking for. 
All right, good. Now I can resize and position this frame wherever it makes the most sense. This is gonna hold our image. So now that I have the background image and this frame selected, I'll search the photos for some images that I can use as the character portraits. Once I find one I like, I'll drag it into the frame and that'll kind of snap it in place, but I can double click and then reposition it however I'd like. Okay, now I'm gonna insert some text. We'll add some placeholders for a character's name, basic stats, class, level, and whatever else you wanna include. There are a bunch of different fonts I could use, but I'm gonna keep them consistent with what I used in my main layout. Now it's time to really make it your own. I find that the basic shapes and lines are a great way to establish sections, and you may wanna create a border as well. It's up to you. I'm gonna speed things up while I add a few things. All right, nice. Now let's animate. We could animate all of these as individual elements, but I'm gonna select the animation button at the slide level and then go through a few options that I like to see what works. All right, awesome. So I'm gonna pick this animation and then this is it. Now I've got a single profile ready to go. This template placeholder, I can just duplicate. That way I can do one for each one of the group members. This is gonna be a video, so I could adjust the timing of the page animation so each of the profiles appear for a certain length of time on screen. I just wanna make sure it's the same for each one. Finally, I'll just export the design as a video, and in my streaming software, I can loop the video so it repeats for the duration of that particular scene. So as I mentioned, I've recently partnered with Canva and they provided me with a link that you can use to access a free 30-day trial of the pro version of the application. It's the same pro version I was just using, so it has stock photos, as you saw, video, audio, graphic assets, all kinds of stuff. And if you're interested in trying it out, you can use the URL on your screen to access the free trial. And this is an affiliate link. So what does that mean? That means that you get the free trial. If you end up signing up, it doesn't cost you anything more, but then Canva sends me a commission for the recommendation. Thanks for hanging out with me while I shared my geek philosophy about creating a character profile video for a D&D livestream campaign. And I want to leave you with some geek philosophy from Oscar Wilde's classic novel, The Picture of Dorian Gray. Every portrait that is painted with feeling is a portrait of the artist, not of the sitter. Cheers.